Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. We are discussing three dimension geometry, and this is lecture number three. I hope you have already watched part one to part two before watching this part three. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some problems related to our distance formula, what we have learned in the previous class. So, try to understand some questions related to uh, distance formula. These are application of distance formula. But before uh, doing this, I would like to discuss some basic. Uh, concept about the collinear so collinear what are collinear points let me discuss collinear points collinear points points are said to be collinear points are said to be collinear said to be collinear if they lie on lie on same line same line right? points lie on same line then they are said to be collinear points right so three points lie on same line they are said to be collinear that can be proved by using different concepts there are so many concepts to prove the points are collinear. First, if A, B, C are any three points, are any O3 points, points lie on same line, on same line, say this is a three points A, B, C lie on same line then what will happen there must be a relation that this is point A this is point B and this is somewhere point C right there must be some relationship between AB plus BC is equal to AC then AB plus BC distance of AB plus distance of BC must be equal to AC this is called collinear linear relationship linear relationship this is called linear relationship a relationship between these three points and if they lie on same line the triangle cannot be formed so you can prove out also that area of triangle is zero but here we have the two huge distance formula so we will find the distance between these two points distance between these two points also and then we will find the distance between a and c if the sum of these two distance will be same as the distance of other two points then they are said to be collinear now let us discuss some questions from exercise exercise 12.2 question number second first question we have already discussed and therefore let us start from question number second it is given that so that the points <coughs> so that the points minus 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3 and 7, 0, minus 1 are collinear, are collinear, collinear, okay. So, how can you deal with this question? Solution. Let A minus 2, 3, 5 B 1, 2, 3 B 1, 2, 3 and C 7, 0, minus 1 are 3 points. 3 points. Their coordinates are mentioned. Now distance of AB, therefore using distance formula, distance formula, formula, we will find AB is equal to, what is AB? AB is under root of x2 minus x1 whole square 1 minus minus 2 that is plus 2, so 1 plus 2 whole square y2 minus y1 that is 2 minus 3 whole square and z2 minus z1 that is 3 minus 5 whole square 
and what is that this will be um, 3 square that is 9 plus 2 minus 3 minus 1 whole square is 1 and 2 minus 3 minus 2 whole square is 4 so this is 4 9 plus 4 13 and 1 14 this is 14 now bc is equal to bc is equal to under root of bc is equal to 7 minus 1 whole square plus 0 minus 2 whole square plus minus 1 minus 3 whole square that will be nothing else but 7 minus 1 6 whole square 36 plus 4 plus minus 4 whole square is 16 that is root 56 that is 2 root 14 can be written as 4 into 14 so 2 root 14 now ac is equal to what ac is equal to <coughs> we can calculate the distance formula as 7 minus <coughs> minus 2 that is 7 plus 2 whole square plus 0 minus 3 whole square plus minus 1 minus 5 whole square minus 5 whole square what is that that will be nothing else but uh, it is nothing else but here I can write 7 plus 2 9 whole square is 81 plus minus 3 whole square is 9 plus minus 1 minus 5 minus 6 whole square is 36 so 81 plus 9 is 90 plus 36 is under root 126 that is 3 root 14 clearly ab plus bc is equal to clearly a ab plus bc is what that is root 14 plus 2 root 14 is equal to 3 root 14 which is what ac and therefore abc are collinear and therefore abc are collinear collinears collinear points collinear points that is lies on same line i hope you got it okay now let us see the question number third and third question is given verify the following verify the following first question is 0 0 7 and minus 10 1 6 minus 6 and 4 9 minus 6 are the vertices of isosceles triangle are the vertices of isosceles triangle okay that we have to prove <coughs> isosceles triangle so for isosceles triangle let coordinates of these points are a b c let a 0 7 minus 10 b 1 6 minus 6 and c 4 9 minus 6 are the vertices of uh, vertices of triangle ABC triangle ABC so now AB square is equal to <coughs> using section formula we can calculate AB is equal, using distance formula AB is equal to 1 minus 0 whole square 6 minus 7 whole square and minus 6 plus 10 minus 6 minus 10 that is plus 10 whole square is nothing else but 1 square 1 this is 6 minus 7 minus 1 whole square is also 1 and 10 minus 6 4 whole square is 16 that is 16 plus 2 under root 18 18 is 9 into 2 so 3 root 2 okay ab is like this now we can calculate bc and bc is what bc is 4 minus 1 whole square plus 9 minus 6 whole square 
plus minus 6 minus of minus 6 that is plus 6 whole square which is equal to 4 minus 1 3 whole square is 9 9 minus 6 3 whole square is 9 and minus 6 plus 6 is 0 so root under 18 that is 3 root 2 so since a b is equal to b c since a b is equal to b c two sides are equal and therefore a b c is an isosceles triangle s triangle right no need to calculate a c even if you want to calculate you can calculate it but here you have to prove isosceles so any two sides are equal then they must be isosceles triangle i hope you got it now next question is question number two second part of this third 0 7 10 0 7 10 minus 1 6 6 and and minus 6 6 and minus 4 9 6 minus 4 9 6 are the vertices of right angle triangle are the vertices of vertices of right angle triangle right angle triangle right right angle triangle so we will write again the solutions like let a let a be the point let a 0 7 10 b minus 1 6 6 and c minus 4 9 6 are the vertices of triangle are the vertices of triangle are the vertices of triangle a b c now distance between a b is given by now a b is what so a b is minus 1 minus 0 whole square plus 6 minus 7 whole square plus 6 minus 10 whole square isn't it so that will be this is 1 plus 1 plus 16 that is root under 18 so this is 3 root 2 okay or uh, even if you write a b square you will get it uh, root 18 so a b square is root 18 now b c is what b c is again can be calculated as minus 4 minus plus 1 whole square that is 9 minus 6 whole square that is 6 minus 6 whole square so it is again this is uh, 3 whole square is 9 this will be 9 and this will be 0 so this is also root under 18 that is 3 root 2 now a c is equal to <coughs> AC is equal to what? AC is equal to we can calculate minus 4 minus 0. Minus 4 minus 0 whole square plus 9 minus 7 whole square plus 6 minus 10 whole square. Right? That will be 16 plus 4 plus 16. 16 plus 4 plus 16 under root 36 that is what 6 so clearly here a b square plus b c square <coughs> a b square plus b c square clearly a b square plus b c square is equal to 18 plus 18 that is 36 which is a c square and therefore a b c j right angle triangle right angle triangle i hope you got it now third part of the question is here third part of the question is given here that uh, minus 1 2 1 1 minus 2 5 and 1 minus 2 5 
these two points the third point is 4 minus 7 8 and fourth point is 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 and 4 2 minus 3 and 4 are the vertices of parallelogram are the vertices of parallelogram vertices of parallelogram okay so this is what we have to deal with now there must be a parallelogram type of structure say like this <coughs> say a b c and d these are the points a coordinate of this point is minus 1 2 1 b is 1 minus 2 5 and c is nothing else but and c is uh, given here 4 minus 7 8 and d is my 2 minus 3 and 4 now using distance formula we can calculate the distance between AB. AB is what? AB can be calculated as AB is equal to solution. AB is equal to under root of this is 1 minus minus 1. 1 minus minus 1 that is 1 plus 1 whole square minus 2 minus 2 whole square and Z2 that is 5 minus 1 whole square. So this is nothing else but 2 square is 4 plus minus 4 whole square is 16. 5 minus 1 whole, whole square is 16. So 16 plus 16 32 plus 4 36 that is 6. Now AB has been calculated CD. CD is what? CD is nothing else but uh, that will be 4 minus 2 whole square. 4 minus 2 whole square plus minus 7 minus 3 that is plus 3 whole square plus 8 minus 4 whole square. This will be 2 whole square 4 minus 2 2 2 whole square is 4 minus 3 plus minus 1 plus 3 4 whole square is 16 and this is 16. Again this will be 6. 36 so it will be 6. So, AB is equal to CD. Therefore, AB is equal to CD. Opposite sides are equal. And now, BC and CD. BC can be calculated by using this. BC is equal to BC is 4 minus 1 whole square. That is 4 minus 1 whole square plus minus 7 minus 7 minus minus 2 that is plus 2 whole square and 8 minus what is that Min 8 minus 5 whole square 8 minus 5 whole square that is under root of 4 minus 1 3 whole square is 9 minus 7 plus 2 that is minus 5 whole square is 25 8 minus 5 is 3, 3 whole square is 9. 9, 9, 18 plus 25 is under root 43. And AD is equal to under root, what is that here? That is minus 1 AD. 2 minus minus 1, that is 3 whole square. 2 plus 1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 minus 3 minus 2 whole square minus 3 minus 2 whole square plus 4 minus 1 whole square 4 minus 1 whole square and that is 2 plus 1 3 whole square is 9 minus 3 minus 2 25 and 4 minus 1 is this under root 43 so bc is equal to therefore bc is equal to 80 from first and second opposite sides are equal from first and second, from first and second, <coughs> first and second, 
अपोजिट साइड्स ऑफ अपोजिट साइड्स आर इक्वल साइड्स आर इक्वल इन ए बी सी डी एंड देयर फोर ए बी सी डी जे पैरेलेलोग्राम पैरेलेलोग्राम आई होप यू गोट इट ओके नाउ देयर इज क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ इक्वेशन ऑफ सेट ऑफ पॉइंट्स सेट ऑफ पॉइंट्स which are equidistant from which are equidistant distance from from equidistant from the points the points 1 to 1 1 to 3 and 3 to minus 1 okay now the solution is solution Let P X Y Z. P X Y Z. Be any point. Be any point. Point which is equidistant from point which is equidistant which is equidistant. From a one two three and b three two minus one, and therefore p a is equal to p b. Therefore p a is equal to p b. p a is equal to p b. This employee p a square is equal to p b square. Isn't it? And we will write the squaring both the sides. Then there is no need to write under. And this employee, what will happen? X minus one whole square, y minus two whole square, and z minus three whole square. X minus one whole square plus y minus two whole square plus z minus three whole square. And here P B is x minus 3 whole square plus y minus 2 whole square plus z plus 1 because minus minus plus 1 whole square now solving this two you will have here x square will come this side x square will come this side x square y square z square will cancel out and what will happen here minus 2x plus 1 here minus 4y plus 4 here Minus six z plus nine plus nine minus six z, isn't it? So this will left here. Here minus six x plus nine will left here. Minus four y plus four will left, and here two z plus one will left. Now this minus six x will come this side. It will be plus six x minus two x is four x, isn't it? So we can write it directly. 4x here minus 4y and minus 4y. This will be vanished. Both the sides minus 4y. So it will be vanished. 4 and 4 also vanished. This will this will vanish. 4 and 4 will also vanish. And here minus 6z and minus 2z minus 8z, isn't it? That will be minus 8z. So it will be minus eight z, and constant nine plus one is ten this side, and nine plus this nine nine also cancel. We can cancel this nine nine also, and one one can be also cancel. So these are cancels. So constants are cancels out, right? And this will be zero. So that will be four uh, x. Is equal to eight z. That is x is equal to two z. This is the equation of set of points are. So this is the equation for. This is the equation for. Equation for. Set of points. Set of points.
where x and y coordinates will exist but z coordinates is always independent that is anything it can be anything right it can be 0 1 2 4 5 because it is independent of z independent of y now question number 5 5 question number 5 is there find the equation of set of points p find the equation of set of points p set of point p the sum of which distances the sum of which distances distances from a 4 0 0 and b minus 4 0 0 is equal to 10 is equal to 10 okay. is equal to 10 <coughs> let p be solution let p be p x y z be the set of points be a point be the point therefore p a plus p b with this therefore p a plus p b is equal to 10 p a distance sum of distances therefore p a plus p b is equal to 10 or p a is equal to 10 minus p b isn't it now squaring both the sides <coughs> or you may write the distance formula using distance formula we can write it p a is equal to under root x minus 4 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square plus z minus 0 whole square that is p a 10 minus p b is nothing else but x plus 4 whole square plus y minus 0 whole square plus z minus 0 whole square so that will be um, x minus 4 whole square a squaring both the sides now a squaring both the sides we will have a squaring both the sides both the sides we get what will happen root will be removed x minus 4 whole square y square z square this will be 100 plus here also the square root will be removed y square plus z square minus 2ab that is 20 under root x plus 4 whole square plus y square plus z square right okay so x y square z square will cancel out these two are cancels out this will come this side and it will be 20 under root x plus 4 whole square plus y square plus z square is equal to 100 plus x plus 4 whole square minus x minus 4 whole square that will be nothing else but 100 plus 2x square and that is minus 8x and plus 8x that is 16x right now that will be 16x nothing else but 16x will left everything will be cancelled out here x square x square will cancel out a plus b a minus b you can do that even so that will be 16x now this is 20 a squaring again or you can take divide by 4 you will get it <coughs> that is 20 under root x plus 4 whole square plus y square plus z square this will be nothing else but 5 if you divide by 4 it will be 5 under root x plus 4 whole square plus y square plus z square is equal to if you divide by 4 25 plus 4x right so squaring again squaring again we have 
this will be 25x plus 4 whole square plus y square plus z square, isn't it? And this side it will be 625 plus 16x square plus 200x. Now we can go ahead 16x square, this will be 25x square, so it will be 25x square plus 4 to 8x, 8 into 25 is 200x plus 4 square is 16 and 25 into 16 is 400, right, plus 25y square plus 25z square <coughs> is equal to 625 plus 16x square plus 200x. <coughs> Now it will be nine x square plus twenty five y square plus twenty five z square and two hundred x two hundred x will cancels out and is equal to two twenty five, which is the required, which is the required set of points. Set of points. I hope you got it. Okay. So this is all about um, the exercise, questions from the exercise 12.2. We will discuss section formula in the next class. Till then, bye bye. God bless. Keep watching.